Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign, and you have just warped into the channel of short and sweet gaming guides. Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord is currently in early access, so everything is subject to change. Keep that in mind. My Discord, Twitter, and Twitch are in the description. Come and join us. Remember, if you do enjoy the content of my videos, smash that like, or let me know down below what you would like to see next. So my video on the best units all factions, card in the top right, had a lot of comments saying my banner knight could destroy your fiends. My cataphracts are really powerful, why did you put them so low? When you are running your game on very easy, or even easy, these tier 6 units are stupidly powerful, some more than others. So I decided that I would show you how I judge different units, what I do to figure this out, and my results in the latest tests that I did over the past few days. Ok so the maps are randomly generated each time, no matter how you save the game and load. But I managed to get them all to be open fields, no mountain sites. All battles are done using the hardest difficulties. Let's get straight into it. We had two battles, 100 vs 207 and 100 vs 468 in the campaign for each special unit. The enemy has the same units, same lords, each battle, no differences. All Vlandian for the best one faction army, slight map differences only. For those that would like to see my excel sheet of results for this test, the link will be in the description. We will go from weakest to strongest based on time taken, kills slash knockouts and deaths slash knockouts. And right at the bottom we have the slow banner knight with consistent losses during the battle losing 61 out of 100 troops in the 100 vs 207. And for the cost of actually getting these guys ranked up that is the biggest issue. Having slow clear times, 4 minutes 31 seconds being the quickest, almost double the time of the number 1 slot. And they landed dead middle of the road for the amount of kills knockouts during both fights, getting 3rd place in both, 201 and 453 respectively. Next up we have the Drudgenik champion, who did not fare much better. And the only reason they are stronger is because they lost less unit, 55 out of 100 being the biggest loss in 100 vs 207. Getting second place in the most kills at 454 in the larger battle, should have put this troop higher but their losses are twice as much as all the other units on the list. And moving on to the elite cataphract, I know this might upset some people, but they were losing 21 out of 100 units in the smaller battle, but they were only losing 3 units average in the larger battles, which gave them a bump up the list as their clear times for each map were the slowest of all. 4 minutes 58 seconds being the quickest, and a whopping 6 minutes 55 seconds being the slowest, 3 times slower than the number 1. They had quite a low kill count in a large battle at 442, but second place in the smaller battle, with 204 kills, only beaten by a full wipe. The next two units could have gone either way on this list, and 1-3 to three are actually some of my favourite of each unit type. In third place we have the Vanguard Ferris, very consistent clear times, middle of the road in both battles, quickest being 2 minutes 56 seconds and slowest being 4 minutes 46 seconds. Had quite a low amount of devs averaging at around 17 for both battles. This fast moving horseman is very light armoured, I am surprised they got so high in this list. They got quite a low amount of kills but that just means more prisoners for you to make money on. And at the number 2 spot we have the Khan's Guard, wiping out both armies, only leaving one alive in a larger battle. This troop is devastating. They kill fast, move fast, and as soon as the enemy starts to retreat from certain death, these guys just run them down. Having averaged 15 deaths slash knockout, it's still a big loss per battle, having to refill horses, but very fast clear time. Fastest being 2 minutes 31 seconds, and the slowest being 4 minutes and 17 seconds. I'm sure in the right hands you could bring these losses down. Now this probably hasn't come as a shock to any of you, but what has come as a shock to me, is I believe they have ninja nerfed the range of these guys with Vlandi and Crossbowmen now outranging them. Not that it matters, clearing times of 2 minutes and 10 seconds, and the longest being 3 minutes and 24 seconds, losing 0 troops in the larger battles consistently, and only losing 3 troops once in the smaller battle. The AI was actually thinking, and got his cavalry in through the trees. Although they had the lowest kill knockout amounts, with 169 in the first and 345 in the second, it's not always about killing everything, which is why the Khan's Guard didn't get first place. The upkeep and retraining of these guys will be nearly non-existent and are quite clearly the strongest unit in the game as of right now, with the Forester being a very close second. As of right now, ranged is king. Whether you want to believe your Cataphrac is the strongest or your Banner Knight, the results are in. Please let me know down below what you thought of me actually going through my train of thought and results. And if you would like to see more in the future, please let me know what you'd like to see next. Remember to like if you enjoyed it and sub if you haven't already. Fly safe.